Hi everyone, this video is going to be an October haul. You might notice if you are a subscriber that I haven't been posting a lot lately on YouTube. Sorry, I have a cold so please bear with me. Um, so that is because we have been waiting to move into our new house and we are finally in. So please excuse the backdrop, it's not my usual setup, it looks a bit plain. But we are working on decorating the house and just adding final touches. If you'd like to see what the house looked like before, we do have a video up. So I will make sure it's linked up in the top corner somewhere so you can have a look at that video. There will be updates. I have quite a lot of footage to go through and update you all. But for now, this video is going to be a misguided coat haul. I have in this haul six coats that I've brought in the past two months from Misguided and they're ones that I've kept so I thought they were worth showing you. Here in the UK our October has been very very pleasant. We've been lucky enough to have the temperature rise so we haven't really needed coats but come the end of the month it is going to all change so I have my fake fur, I always want to say faux, so I have my fake fur coats on standby, ready to go. So, let's get started. This leopard print coat was kind of a risky buy for me. I don't own anything leopard, and I never thought I would, but Kendall Jenner was seen sporting a long length leopard coat, Gigi Hadid. There's been so many celebrities wearing leopard print, and I personally am growing to it. Growing to wearing it? it's growing on me. Myself personally, I would only wear this with an all black outfit, never with heels and always with like flat biker boots. So it would kind of be a boyish look and then paired with the leopard coat. So it would dress up a plain outfit pretty much rather than a mini skirt or um, over the knee boots. I don't think I could put the two together just for the simple fact of what my boyfriend said when I opened it, he initially thought, Cat Slater. So he's, I'm yet to, what's the word? I'm yet to uh, persuade him on this, on this jacket. He doesn't think he's gonna like it on me and he doesn't think like, he'll be leaving the house with me wearing it. Of course he will, he doesn't have a say. I definitely have to try and style this in a way that he will say, yeah, actually it's not too bad. Let's talk about the coat now. So I got this in a medium, and this is one of the most expensive coats out of the six that I'm showing you today. It was 70 pounds. I went for a medium because, if you also don't know, I'm currently 25 weeks pregnant, so I will discuss my sizings with you and whether I think you should stay your normal size or up or down, or yeah, I'll try and discuss that because a lot of people have commented saying, that they would like to know what size I'm buying. For a medium, this fits well, and I would recommend everyone up in a size, whether you're pregnant or not. I've put this on over a jumper, and it's not very roomy still, it's just right. I think upper size, it doesn't make it a lot longer, whereas I get a little bit nervous. Normally I downsize to make things shorter, because I am only five foot. For 70 pound, the quality is really good, like it's a really nice fake fur. The lining is kind of diamond quilted, but it's not very thick, so I'm not sure how warm it would actually keep me. Like there's not a lot of padding inside, like it has the, the label collar. It looks warm and it feels warm, but I'm yet to test it, so I can't actually comment on that yet. But the print is really nice, it kind of fades from a dark brown to a light brown back to a dark brown, so it's not the same all over, which I quite like. I'm actually really looking forward to wearing this, and I will probably wear it over the weekend, so make sure you're following me on Instagram to see how I wear it. So this I got, it's the vinyl trench coat, and vinyl is a really, really big trend at the moment. And I've seen so many people and bloggers celebrities styling it in a really classy way. I opted to go for a burgundy colour, just because I have a lot of black coats, I wear a lot of black, so it's always nice to have that kind of statement jacket. The problem with vinyl is it can look really cheap and it can look tacky. For £50, I think this is a really great option if you want to buy it into the trend. The only thing I didn't like about this one was the buttons. They're kind of a matte black 
and they're not they're not too bad but it just catches my eyes a nice thing about it it has this kind of circle ring belt that is another really big trend you're buying into two trends really i would personally wear this undone i don't think i would do it up this one i got in an eight and being 25 weeks pregnant i would still recommend an eight so if you are buying it and you're not pregnant i would recommend staying your normal size because it's just right. Depends how fitted you want it. If you want it really fitted, then I would recommend going down a size. Another big trend has been check and tweed blazers or dog tooth blazers. And I am really, really loving it. This is the misguided checked blazer and it was £35. It's quite a thin fabric, so it's really lightweight. It's a nice thing that because you, you could wear it under a coat as well as over like a polo neck or just a white t-shirt but it's also one of the ones that look nice to wear in the evening so if you're going out in the evening it's nice to have something like this um, I personally hate wearing big coats out when I go out for an evening not that I'm going out much now but yeah I would always opt for a blazer rather than a big heavy jacket because there's nothing worse than getting into a bar and you have to hold a big coat that's wet probably as well so I got this in a 10 because I want, I like the oversized look in blazers and it is oversized so if you also like that look then I would suggest um, going up a size. I roll the sleeves up when I wear it, I think it just gives it a little bit of character, it has like a, a silver grey lining on the inside. It also has shoulder pads so it does sit really nicely over a white t-shirt or doesn't have to be white, it sits really nicely over a t-shirt so again with denim and a t-shirt and this it kind of dresses up an outfit instantly. Keeping in mind the checkered trend I got the checked mac and this is such great quality for £50. It's nice and long, it's heavy, I think for £50 you just can't go wrong, it has really nice deep pockets it has a kind of real matte look to it, so it's not just a matte shape, it has like all the extra fabrics that a normal mac would have. And for a mac, you could pay around £100 for a decent mac. It has buckles on the sleeves that wrap round twice, so there is a lot of detail into it. The, the buttons are just black, but shiny. I stayed my normal size 8 for this and I would recommend doing the same. It's quite a long coat, there's a lot of fabric and you don't want to feel like fabric is overta overtaking you. I would recommend staying your normal size. Definitely don't size up. If you want to, size down if anything. The check is really nice. It's quite a light, a light grey and a light black. It's not as harsh, the check, as the blazer. Next up, this was kind of a risky buy for me. This is the suede, fake suede hooded jacket. And I think it just, the comfiness of it kind of swayed me to buy it. I do love suede and I don't have any brown suede heavy jackets. We do a lot of dog walking and we go for walk, walks early in the morning when it's like crisp cold. So this kind of jacket is perfect. Obviously it wouldn't be good for rain, but any other time it's just so warm. It's really heavy. It comes with this really large hood at the back which is a nice detail, but it will also keep you really, really warm if you need it. I didn't size up in this. Again, I got this in an eight and it is very big. I think it's already oversized. It comes with a really heavy silver zip and the nice deep pockets on both sides. It's quite a simple cut. Very, it's very like teddy bear coatish. It just feels really nice. Like you could, you could get away with wearing something really light underneath this and then throwing this on top. It also has these like flared sleeves which you just wouldn't expect the coat to have but it's just really roomy. So as I get bigger throughout my pregnancy, I'm guessing I'm gonna enjoy wearing this coat. This one was 55 pound and I think because it is so roomy, I'm gonna really get my wear out of it. It's gonna be really comfortable and most importantly, it's gonna keep me really warm, me and the baby. So that is the end of this haul. It was a short one. I'm slowly trying to get back into two videos a week. I have changed the dates, so they're now going to be on a Wednesday and a Sunday. I have lots of fashion videos coming your way. I've got my home update, and I also have Thailand vlogs from this time last year. I can't believe I've left it a year. I just don't know where the time has gone, but I have so much to share with you guys. So if you haven't already, please subscribe because there is a lot of new content coming your way. If you're a subscriber, I will see you in my next video. Bye!